What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And this is a Curiosity Rover shot. I had this one sent by a bunch of different people. Uh, my buddy JD, he sent me it uh, on over. I've seen this one out there many times. All sorts of anomalies on this one. I've seen it at like every angle come up this. So we're going to take a, take a good look at this picture. And uh, if you don't see it now, this is one of the main ones that I... This whole area up here where it looks like it's got this home plate looking sign thing. It's got these straight lines coming off of it here. It almost looks like a stop sign or something, some sort of sign you set it up. I'm starting to wonder if these things aren't out in the desert somewhere. But check it out though, it does kind of look eerie. Like if you look at this, I think our, our brain, this is obviously probably just rock, but it sees a little skull there. So you got two eye sockets in the mouth. But if you look at the symmetry here, it's pretty amazing. It's got circles, it comes out the side here. Um, here's the original NASA. This is what I've enhanced it up. Um, basically all I've done is change, I didn't do much, I sharpened it up a little bit, changed the auto color, um, blurred it, then sharpened it, so that's, it, it kind of gets rid of a lot of the, uh, the excess stuff on there, but this whole picture's got a bunch of good stuff on it. When I first looked at it a long time ago, when I was going to make the first video I was going to do, I saw right off the bat, this thing looked like a little mini car, it looked like it's got windows, everything two wheels right there, three wheels actually. You can see the one would be in the back, look like a little mini sedan. See how it comes up like that? And uh, it, it did, it looked like a little car, it just looks like it's been worn, set there, you know, the driver, all the stuff just blown up, something like that, and it's been sitting there for years and years and years, maybe even long enough to turn to turn to a stone or turn to whatever it is. But when you start playing with the color, it sure, this, what they send back with that, that brown look to it sure doesn't what we see here. I mean, look at the difference when you flip that back and forth. But there's so much color in these. And again, up here again, it looks like another little car. See, it almost looks like it's two wheels and another thing up there. But not this car. Check, there's that S symbol again we see everywhere. Um, when you get this stuff sharpened up, this everything's very ornate. It's amazing. Look at the, uh, look at just a circle, like rope type chains that go through here. More uh, angles and Pretty amazing stuff. Um, just sit back, watch it. Make sure you got my stuff in HD. If you're new to my videos, uh, welcome. We just had a lot of subscribers. That last video I did with the, uh, from, gosh, uh, thanks to Remy and Thomas for bringing that one up. The ones with the uh, the wheels. Now, to me, this one's got just as much good stuff on it. And here, let me show you real quick that it is from NASA. Let me show you where it is. Uh, that's not the one. Hold on. There it is right here. All you have to do is go to the description. I always link the stuff in the description just so you know that it's legit. And uh, you can go check it out and download it yourself. Because that's really why I'm putting it out there. So you can download it yourself. Um, that's like the main reason why I do this here. That and to get it out to everybody. It's pretty fun. And uh, having a good time doing it. We're, we're doing a lot of these pictures lately. There's so much stuff out there. I mean, everybody's fine. On Facebook, you got to come join everybody up on Facebook. I put in my description, I'm going to have a bunch of links. Check out the website. There's much stuff on there. All right. Here's where we really start getting into some more cool like uh, shapes. See how this comes up, comes around, perfect 90 degree angle there. More 90 degree angles. It's almost like they're tubes and stuff that go through this whole thing. Up here you've got something rounded. Then it's got a couple, there's some blur at it right there. See that right there? Blurs out, whatever that is. Now, I don't know if that's being done. I, th I, I think it's being done by a computer. And, uh, because I think it looks for these 90 degree angles. It looks for things and it puts these... Uh, these little blinds effects into it and a lot of these you see just kind of the blur here's there's, there's a little bit there see how this got the blind effects well with the I've been able to combat these a lot more than I used to so it actually should go back and look through a lot of those old ones and uh, check out some of those recheck them out again look at that angle right there it's like almost perfect things just come around and we haven't even gotten towards the bottom of this picture yet all right so let's see more just random. Look at this right here. Look at this kind of interesting just piece of slab right there. There's another one that, that's kind of interesting. Look, it just everything to me just looks like stuff that's either been destroyed or um, it almost looks like something was destroyed and then there's another something building on top of it or something. But um, okay, now this little piece right here, check this thing out. Whatever this is, it almost looks like uh, some sort of vegetation maybe or something like that. I'm not sure, but whatever it is, it's, it's pretty interesting in here. Check. I'm gonna keep doing this for a second. See, I've been able to combat that blur a lot down here. Check this stuff out. And look at all these. Like it, This stuff just looks so... Look at that S symbol again and everything. These little pieces just look broken up. Like this used to be one huge building or something. You get all these these right angles. Look at the little balls in the middle of this right here. It's like comes up. It's got a little sphere. And the sphere is perfect. 
This stuff comes up, it follows the, look at that, it follows it. Like these were stairs at one time that went up here or something. And other steps right there. In the middle, I could see some huge column going up. And it's just been wasted away here on Mars. And whatever took this planet out um, really did do, do a number on it. Okay, here's the other tablet thing down here. Look at this. Look at how that shapes right there. It's almost mirrored. I mean, if you cut through it, it's even got two little lines in it. It's almost, you know, look at that. That's awesome. Just to be randomly shaped like that. And then among all this other stuff, you know, no way. This definitely was a spot that Curiosity was not stopping <laughs> and thinking some massive, uh, you know, it, it, it wasn't stopping at least publicly for it. But they, they took some really good pictures. This is Sol 709. And, uh, but it did definitely blew on by here. Look at this stuff down here, little squares just kind of sitting out randomly. Um, and you really, let's keep switching back and forth. See, I, I was able to look like, if you look at right here, there's little, those, I was calling blinds that, from the regular picture. I think the rover finds them or something, whatever, the computer program finds them and puts them in there. But uh, like I said, I was able to get rid of a lot of them lately. Now this whole picture right here is pretty cool too. I sat back and, and, and just looked at this for a while. Let me show you with it off and then back on. And to me, it looks more ornate. Look, I mean, if you start up here, look at these little pieces. I, I should do it a little bigger here. Comes down, 90 degree angles. Looks like two balls right there. Comes around, 90 degree angles. It looks like it's on a piece. I mean, it looks like a, a piece to something. You know, it looks like it's all been shattered up and knocked over. You know what I mean? Like it's not in place. It's somewhere like Puma Punku would be or how we find just relics here on Earth where stuff has just been thrashed, picked over. You know, who knows? Um, check this out up here. And once again down here, check that out. You get these S symbol. We got perfect S. It comes up like that. Here you got more of a 90 degree. Actually, it's like comes around. All sorts of just uh, like at what time? What was this stuff? You know, I love to know. Like what was that big ball of metal somewhere? You know, and who knows how long ago it was? Like I said, anything could be. Like look, look at some of the stuff on Earth that turns into rock, turns into, turns into, uh, you know, petrified. You never know. I think a lot of what we're looking at is metal and stuff like that. They're just hiding that color. When you add that color to anything, it's amazing how, how, uh, <laughs> how it tears stuff up. And especially when you put in the other effects with it. So you got this piece up here that's carved, and then when you come down here, and not only that, check this out right here. This is also something cool. What in the world is this right here? Explain this to me. This is not a shadow or something. It almost looks like a very wet spot, but whatever it is, it's, it's next to like this whole piece that's come down. It's almost like the sand is on something here. Like in here where you look at it here, you see it's it's very, you, look, it's got like a U there, like L-U-C-C. -C. I mean, under it looks pretty amazing. Um, and I don't know if that's just, you said that just could be matrixing, whatever, but that looks pretty interesting to me. What's this? You know, look at this really bright piece. It's like, is that what's causing that shadow? I don't see how that could be because nothing's falling that way. Very interesting spot to me. So what do you guys think about that? Um, hopefully, you guys, if you guys said, you guys should be liking this one. Hopefully, this is one you're downloading. Like I said, like, there's a million things in here that, that you've probably seen that I haven't seen. And you can comment below and let us all know. If you're going to point something out, put like the uh, put the timestamp on it. It's so much easier to find. Look at this here. Look, look. I mean, I've seen the regolith. You know, I see the, the strata and stuff like that here. And this stuff doesn't look like it's matched up. Look, there's like a ball inside of this little thing and it comes up and around and look how perfect that is that's crazy let's see what it looks like when it used to be i mean it's it's there i haven't done anything with sharpen the thing up make it look better and it adds like i said it did auto color all i do is auto color so once again we come over here look at this stuff there's more just more and more and more and more and more and more of it check this out okay so we've got some symmetry here look at how this piece over here that kind of matches that you got one two we got that sphere thing again. This almost looks like a disc that's just buried. Let's make that bigger, see if we can make it bigger. Look at that. It looks like it's got one, two, three, four fins. It's pretty big. And it just looks like it's buried inside the sand there. Box shape right there. And like I said, granted this stuff is blurry, but you can make out, you can specifically make out the shapes. Look at that. These run with it. You know, it's, it's 
perfect shapes. And for all this to be in one spot, I just can't see Mother Nature doing this, you know, or Mother Mars, whoever you want to call it. Look how this stuff comes up and over, circles. It almost looks like something we wouldn't even understand. Machinery. I don't even think we look at the stuff that's here on Earth and we understand it. What it did, what things function were, what pyramids functions were. We're just now coming around to learn it. But pretty cool there. See how that's even shaped over right there? It's got two little inserts. It just looks like a piece of something right next to another piece. And just stuff is just starting to fall down the mountain here or the hill, whatever you want to call it. All right, let me go over here and make sure we saw this right here. Okay. Look how this thing curves up, runs around here, runs here. It's like a little, it looks like a metal piece bevel or something. It comes down and it's like it's holding this opening up or something, but it comes out. And look at this piece here. It's just all kind of together. And here you've got these pieces. This doesn't look like it's part of the rock face. I mean, it doesn't look like that strata that runs across. I mean, this right here has got a, uh, you know, an oval shape to it, and so does the thing behind it. It looks like it's structure. It used to be something here. I mean, if we could just dig, if we could just dig this or just blow that sand away. I wish the sandstorm would have came through and just, uh, you know, helped us out here, taking maybe 30, 40, 50 feet of sand off of here. Check that out there. I mean, you can sit here and say, oh, this is just all, you know, rocks. And uh, if, they, if you just think that my videos are not for you, leave immediately, please. Because all you're going to do is just sit there and get ticked off. But hopefully I'm not making you guys sick with this one. I haven't done a long one in a while. How long? How far have we gotten so far? 11 minutes. Gosh, I used to go 30 minutes on these things. I think some people will say they love the long ones. Some people can't stand them. I found they're easier to share when they're not as long. Okay, check this stuff out here. Now, these should just be little little rocks on the side of a, a hill here. Look at the, just the imagery in them. Now, this could, look at this. I mean, it's pretty amazing. It makes you wonder, if you've seen the Stephen, Dr. Stephen Greer down here, he's got that little, running around all the time, that little six-inch being. And uh, after I saw that thing, I saw, like, the x-ray and stuff of it. Like I said, it, to me, the ball game was wide. I was like, why couldn't extraterrestrials be this big? Why couldn't they be this big? Why, why couldn't they be, you know, the size of my house, you know? Check this thing out. Tell me that doesn't look like it's floating. It's like a little magic carpet. It's got a little ball here. It's got a little piece to it. Doesn't it? it looks like it's floating in the air, doesn't it? It's not. I'm sure it's not. It's probably just dug in. There's something under it, but it definitely looks like a piece of something. And here we get more and more. Where you go, there there's shapes that are just unnatural shapes look at this it's just cut into it like this and it keeps going even up here you can see it would have been up here and this is just kind of all blurred out let's see if we take this tool right here if we un can knock some of that down nah pretty amazing the stuff that's on top of this this is just a little sharpen tool that i got on darken pretty amazing guys and up here, like I said, I, this just to me looks like, I, I mean, who knows how how we're supposed to be looking at it. That's probably more of a, let's see. Yeah, because you know what? That puts a lot of this stuff looking at. Oh, look at that right here. I didn't even notice it before. See this piece here? It's got, we're looking right in the middle of the circle. That piece that comes down off of it like that. Almost looks like a little snake. Let's see. Just, it's like hive or something. The whole thing, like circle circle it's, it's all parts to something you know like, like I, said, I don't think we can understand what it is and if we could like, let's see how that looks that does look a little bit let's see let's make that roof a little straighter uh, how about that how far off are we that puts our freeway up here sorry guys hope you're not getting sick is not what I'm trying to do. We've already looked down through all that stuff. We looked through up here, and that's this piece right here is pretty badass. Look at that. I mean, look at the it's what the white piece. Let me do this. Sharpen the tad, and then just so you know that I'm not adding that stuff. It's there. It's all right there. That's just because it all I did was take it out a little bit. Pretty cool. Look at this up here, how it's got the pattern to it. Let's see if we can pull that out anymore. Probably not. 
で I always get carried away with this thing. It is cool though, whatever this little thing is. You can see it comes around, it's got a pattern to it. So I mean, the whole thing has got shape. And here, once again, we saw that earlier. It's, that looks like a piece of something that just lodged itself down in there. Here, it looks like it goes up under there, like something could go in up under it. Something could just be sitting there resting. Here, you got just it just kind of uh, looks like withered away. It looks like anywhere on Earth you could go find these these type of ruins. There's those S's again. And then once again, when I came here to look at this, this to me looks like some sort of stop sign or something. It goes with the whole theory here. It goes with the whole car thing, you know. But that definitely looks very unnatural. Just around it, there's all sorts of shapes, to squares, and things like looks like stuff like tubing or something, piping, metal. Let's see. I wonder what happened if we just sharpen it, or if we uh, do some, just a little bit of exposure. It definitely looks like a piece of something metal there. And look how dark it is. And in the middle there is like a ball. Let's see if we can make that a little bigger on the screen. I always forget some of you guys are using cell phones to look at these things. See it? It's just like a little piece. It looks like it could almost be connected to that whole thing up there. But either way, it looks like there's some metal brackets that were in here. They kind of come around and they connect to this piece right here. It's all connected together. So whatever whatever happened here it twisted this place up. I, I think an electrical discharge probably probably was what zapped this place and made because there's so much stuff that looks uh, vitrified all over Mars, stuff that's just like melted together it seems like to be. But what do you guys think? Comment below. Like I said, I've been battling this little cold here. I haven't been feeling all that well, but rocking it. All sorts of good stuff to come. I got a lot of videos from people that they've been sending over. Thank you guys. You guys are doing the work for me. That's all I can say. Check out the website. We got uh, Brett C. Shepard from Lunar Anomalies guy. He's up on there uh, writing articles, putting his pictures up. I just noticed he uploaded a whole bunch of them to the server. So soon he's going to have that thing rocking and rolling. Um, like I said, we always got to, everybody's over there putting their stuff up. There's a good forum with new stuff. Uh, Bad Sneaker, Ben Evans, they're all helping me out over there. I got a lot of good people helping me out. As I just scroll through here, I know you see more and more anomalies. All right, guys, much love to you. Have a good one. Peace.